Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about do you have smaller clothes in storage in case shit hits the fan? Stick around. There's a lot of talk on YouTube about putting clothes in bug out bags and having uh, spare clothing gloves, all kinds of uh, gear in case uh, SHTF occurs. But I think as Americans, most of us have fat clothing, right? If we gain weight, we have those extra jeans that are a little bit larger. I, for example, uh, I've run a yo-yo from high school. I was probably uh, at my heaviest weight, about 350 pounds, big boy. And uh, went to 330 pounds, kind of kept that for quite a few years, and right now I'm probably the lightest I've been in a long time, I'm about 285, 287. So I'm working, trying progressively to uh, keep that weight or lose more. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I have a bunch of clothes that range from 4X in shirts down to 2X. Um, and pants that are from waist 48 down to 40. And I, I don't have any really smaller clothes than what I'm wearing right now. Um, and I think it's something we need to think about, right? Because uh, during SHTF, we're, we're going to lose weight. You're not going to be eating as much. Even if you're a prepper, uh, you're probably not going to be eating as much as you do now. Um, and the junk food and stuff is not going to be available unless you stored it and a lot of us do store some things like that but that's not your nutritional staple of food uh, so you're going to lose weight you're going to be working a lot harder and I think that we don't think about it uh, having a lot of smaller clothing uh, the belt I'm wearing right now uh, way too big for me I've drilled holes to make it smaller so uh, I can still wear it. I need to go out and get a smaller belt right now. Um, and I don't have any smaller belts. Excuse me. I think that something we need to think about as preppers, having smaller clothing. I think a lot of us have larger clothing laying around but not a lot of smaller clothing. So I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, one other thing is my wife is pretty good on the sewing machine. Even if she doesn't have a sewing machine, she has she can alter clothing. Uh, her mother makes clothing for my son. Uh, she actually made his Christmas outfit that he wore this year, and it, it, I mean it's not something real simple. I mean it was like a uh, I don't know what you call it, like a jumpsuit type thing, and it had buttons and hemmed and pockets. Uh, very involved. Uh, Uh, you know, and she gets it from her mom, and her, her her grandmother was pretty good around sewing as well, knitting, crocheting, um, and my wife can alter clothing to make them smaller or larger, and I know that in her sewing basket thing, I, I don't know anything about sewing, I'm, I can't even sew a button, I'm terrible at it, uh, and I rely on my wife for that stuff, uh, but she can alter clothing, which I think is a really good skill to have. Even if you can't do it on a sewing machine, doing it by hand, which I've seen her do, um, it's pretty impressive. So maybe uh, trying to learn those skills, uh, how to mend clothing, repair clothing, and make them smaller might be a good idea in SHTF. Let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Are you guys prepping, and do you have smaller underwear, smaller jeans, smaller shirts? Uh, you know, wearing baggy clothing is not the end of the world, but at some point, with pants especially, trying to keep them up, if you don't have a smaller belt, you're going to be wrapping paracord around that stuff to keep your pants up, boys. All right, guys, as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.